Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the differentiation property of the Z transform. So we are going to look at differentiation property. Specifically in Z domain. So the property can be stated as follows. If x of n, a time domain discrete sequence has the Z transform x of Z, then the sequence n times x of n, that is a sequence multiplied by the time uh, variable n or n times x of n has the Z transform defined as minus Z times derivative of the original Z transform, that is dx of Z dz. So basically this is the differentiation property in z domain. Now let us look at the proof of this property. The proof can be given as follows. Starting with the definition of the z transform x of z is given by summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n z power minus n. Now we apply derivative on both sides that is we differentiate with respect to z on both sides so we get d by dz of x of z on left hand side and this is e going to be equal to this is going to be equal to n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n is independent of z so x of n is as it is and then we have z power minus n the derivative of z power minus n is given by minus n multiplied by z power minus n minus 1. So this is the derivative. Now this summation can be rewritten as follows is equal to minus z inverse multiplied by the summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity n times x of n multiplied by z power minus n. Now, uh, now if we look at this summation it is clearly a z transform of the sequence n times x of n. Therefore the derivative of x of z divided uh, derivative of x of z with respect to z is equal to minus z inverse z transform of n times x of n therefore the z transform of n times x of n that is z transform n of n times x of n is clearly given by minus z times the derivative of the x of z that is where x of z is the z transform of x of n so this is the proof for the derivative property or the differentiation property now let us look at an example uh, which basically utilizes this property uh, so our uh, in this example our goal is to find out the z transform of the sequence x of n defined as n into a power n u of n we want to find the z transform of the sequence using the differentiation property so to for this purpose let us define a sequence x1 of n defined as a power n u of n and now we uh, so we already know that the z transform of a power n u of n is given by that is x1 of z is given by 1 by 1 minus a into z inverse where the roc is given by mod z greater than mod a so this is the z transform of x1 of n now we apply differentiation on both sides that is we have derivative of x1 of z which is going to be equal to minus a minus z power minus 2 and then minus 1 divided by 1 minus a z inverse whole square so this can be rewritten as derivative of x1 of z derivative of x1 of z is equal to minus z inverse multiplied by a times z inverse divided by 1 minus a z inverse whole square. So derivative of x1 of z is equal to minus z inverse a into a z inverse by 1 minus a z inverse whole square. So now by taking this value that is minus z inverse to the left side we have minus z derivative x1 of z with respect to z is equal to a z inverse divided by 1 minus a z inverse whole square now by using the derivative property that is that is the z transform of n times x of n 
is given by minus z derivative of x of z with respect to z. So by using this property, that is this uh, minus z derivative of x1 of z dz is basically the z transform of n times x of n. It is n times x of n is or in this case it is n times x1 of n. So its z transform is minus z derivative of x1 of z with respect to z. That means it should be equal to a z inverse divided by 1 minus a z inverse whole square. Therefore u of n therefore the z transform of n times a power n u of n is a z inverse divided by 1 minus a z inverse whole square. So to summarize we have looked at the differentiation property in z domain that is given x of n that has z transform x of z the z transform of n times x of n is given by minus z derivative of x of z with respect to z and uh, the proof of this property follows from the definition we apply basically a derivative on both sides and then uh, the right side term becomes minus z inverse and z transform of n times x of n so and the property uh, proof for the property follows and then we also look at an example we want to derive the z transform of the sequence n times a power n u of n we use the z transform of another sequence x1 of n equal to a power n u of n which is basically 1 by 1 minus a z inverse and mod z is greater than mod a that is the roc now by applying derivative to this z transform we derive minus z times derivative of x1 of z as a z inverse 1 minus a z inverse whole square but from the differentiation property this should be the this one is the uh, z transform of n times x1 of n so the z transform of in, uh, n times x1 of n that is n times a power n u of n is indeed a z inverse by 1 minus a z inverse whole square and also note that the roc is the same that is mod z greater than mod a thanks for watching